So, I recently started learning Rust. And uh, as one of the first test projects, I decided to implement a sort of Elixir or a language runtime, like a virtual machine thing. So I got inspired by this awesome dude. Yeah, so the guy's name is the Ape Machine, and this guy decided to show how to create like a language parser uh, with Python. So he basically created a simple program here, which accepts a file, and he makes a tokenizer to kind of distinguish what portions of a program is supposed to do what. So he basically creates like a language parser, right? And uh, he kind of goes and reads the file, tokenizes it, and then he creates an AST, which is abstract syntax, syntax tree. So he parses everything that he read from the file, and uh, then he made evaluator, which is reading the script that he came up with, right? So he has some labels, he, he can ex, uh, export something in the terminal, and he can navigate to another label and kind of run the code from in there, and then go back to his own, uh, to another like Alexer, like a uh, portion of the program. So this guy also said something inspiring. He said, in order to learn how the language works, in his case, Python, you need to understand how to write a program of your own in that language. And that stood out to me because I'm learning Python, uh, not Python. Uh, actually, I do learn Python and uh, Rust at the same time. So what I did, I went ahead and uh, basically recreated everything that this guy made step by step. I made a file reader. I made a lexer based on this guy's code. So I'm reading <laughs> the code in the same manner as this guy did. Of course, I had to fight Rust's borrow checker, but man, this was fun. And I created a bunch of uh, uh, structs that could help me to write more um, steady code, which would not kind of break. And I kind of made everything work with pattern matching as well. So, you know, doing the tricks that Rust provides. And the uh, evaluator is also almost one-to-one -one implementation of the guy's Python code. So this this project in general made me really understand how the freaking borrow checker and uh, memory management in Rust works. And uh, I'm feeling like more of a successful developer now because I'm able to read and write uh, code from from one programming language to another. So just to show off, kind of, let me run the program really quick. So what I'm doing here is I'm outputting the entire lexer output, as, again, as this guy did. So I've got the script that is supposed to run. It's going to output, this is a test. Then it's gonna go to the code that's under the label. It's gonna output one, two, then gonna go back, and it's gonna abrupt the code execution here. So all the tokens are read here as the simple array, and then the program makes sense of it and creates a abstract syntax tree. So, so you can already see that the code is becoming kind of structured under a key, I've got a value what I want to return, it's going to be a string, uh, maybe if I decide to work on a project more, 
I'm gonna make sure that the program is gonna fail or you know scream panic whatever when it's not a string passed to echo which is reasonable and so on and so on and after the abstract syntax tree is done I'm I'm running that thing and as I mentioned it's outputting something in the first echo then it's outputting something from the uh, second label like two strings and it's back to main and then it abrupted abrupted the code execution just because well we made it to do it so so yeah this is the way to lear learn a language before you step into more serious projects thanks <laughs>